Nuno Tavares is set to become Arsenal's first signing of the summer and very much fits the bill for the direction Mikel Arteta and Edu want to take the club. The 21-year-old has been identified as a potential understudy for first-choice Kieran Tierney and it is understood that a deal to sign the left-back could be secured for less than 10 million euros. Compared to previous summers, the transfer targets that have been identified this summer by Arsenal have mainly been younger players that not only add to the current squad, but who will continue developing in the future. Albert Sambi Lakonga, at the age of 21, has qualities unique outside of Thomas Partey in midfield, while Ben White, 23, is viewed to have as big as an impact in possession as he will out of it. So, without further ado, who is Nuno Tavares, and what could the 21-year-old left back bring to Arsenal? According to reports, Tavares has been on Arsenal's radar for some time now, but the situation was also accelerated by Benfica's financial situation and their desperate need to sell players. Napoli and Southampton were both interested in Tavares, but when the clubs inquired earlier this summer, they were quoted a substantially higher price at around 15 million euros. Arsenal's willingness to do the deal quickly meant they got a very good deal. As Arsenal look to avoid the registration crisis they faced last summer, the fact the Portuguese youngster will not take up a non-homegrown squad place this season, as he still qualifies as an under-21 player, will be further benefit to Arsenal. It is also important to consider that the youngster will arrive as yet another Portuguese-speaking defender. Last season, Gabriel Maqueles particularly benefited when playing next to David Luiz. Pablo Mari, having played in Brazil, also speaks Portuguese, and as Tavares will play outside either of those two left-sided centre-backs, this could help him acclimatise to Arsenal. Furthermore, despite Arsenal being linked with the likes of Ryan Bertrand and Patrick van Aanholt, there was a real reluctance to make a short-term signing. The club's aim was to identify a young player who can not only provide immediate support and cover for Kieran Tierney, but could also learn from him and potentially succeed him in the future. Stylistically, Tavares is a dynamic athletic defender who is capable of making driving runs forward very much like Tierney. He is also a product of the Benfica Academy that has produced stars such as Bernardo Silva and João Felix. Moreover, Tavares deputizing for Tierney would provide not only a natural backup but a more seamless transition between the usage of left backs. Other than physicality, Said Kolasinac's biggest strength was arguably cutbacks across the opposition penalty area, while Granit Xhaka was used as more of a deep-lying playmaker at left-back this season. However, both lack the athleticism that both Tierney and Tavares possess, which enables them to be threats against the opposition. Although it's important to highlight that the Portuguese youngster will not be a carbon copy of Tierney, he will be much closer to what the Scotsman offers than previous options. All in all, Arsenal will know that they are not signing the finished product with Tavres. He does not need to be that either, considering Tierney is their undisputed first choice who has just signed a new long-term deal to stay at the club. However, by signing Tavares, Arsenal will solve one of the issues that plagued Arteta last season. With Kolasinac on loan to Schalke, the worst case scenario of Tierney getting injured occurred twice. First time around, Cedric filled in and did a reasonable job, while the second time around, Xhaka slotted in and had a specific role as a more reserved playmaker. This season, however, should Tierney need a rest or, God forbid, is injured once again, there will be no panic around what happens at left back. All in all, Arsenal view this as a low-risk investment. Considering Tavares' age, if the signing does not work out, he will remain a sellable asset. Tavares has a reasonable base level of talent and is young enough to develop further, and the hope will be that his future does remain in North London as a potential successor to Tierney one day. For now, the signing of Tavares signifies the start of a potentially game-changing transfer window for Arsenal Football Club. The club are making good progress with the deals for Tavares as well as the impending deals for Ben White and Albert Sambi Lakonga. The club entered the window hoping to add at least four to five significant signings to strengthen the first team squad. With the Tavares deal set to be announced, that means one down and four to go.